Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve this equation for real values of x. To do this, we are going to start with a very simple substitution. We are going to call the square root of 3 plus x, that is this, u. And we are going to call the square root of 3 minus x, v. So this is going to be equal to v. Now with these two substitutions, the original equation can now be written as u plus v divided by u minus v is equal to root 5. Of course, you know that this is root 5 over 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is that we will cross multiply. When we do that, we have that u plus v times 1 is equal to root 5 times u minus v. Now, opening this bracket, we have that u plus v is equal to u times root 5 minus v times root 5. Now, let us rearrange this equation. We are going to take u over to the right hand side and we are going to take this over to the left hand side when we do that this equation becomes v plus v root 5 is equal to u root 5 minus u now when you look at these two you will see a common factor which is v so we have v into v divided by v is 1 and v root 5 divided by v is root 5 and this is equal to when you look at these two you have a common factor which is u u root 5 divided by u is root 5 u divided by u is 1 now let us divide both sides of this equation by v so we have that u root 5 minus 1 over v is equal to 1 plus root 5. And also, let us divide this equation by root 5 minus 1. When we do that, we have that u over v is equal to, of course, this can be written as root 5 plus 1. So we have root 5 plus 1 over root 5 minus 1. But then remember that u is equal to the square root of 3 plus x and v is equal to the square root of 3 minus x and this is equal to root 5 plus 1 divided by root 5 minus 1. Now the next thing we are going to do is that we will square both sides of this equation. So we have this squared is equal to this squared. Of course you know that this square is going to take care of these two square roots leaving us with 3 plus x over 3 minus x is equal to now, root 5 squared is equal to 5 plus 2 times root 5 times 1. That is 2 root 5 plus 1 squared, which of course is equal to 1. Root 5 squared once more is equal to 5. 2 times root 5 times minus 1 is equal to minus 2 root 5. And minus 1 squared is equal to 1. So we have that 3 plus x over 3 minus x is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2 root 5. 5 plus 1 is 6 minus 2 root 5. Now recall that if a over b is equal to c over d, then from our properties of proportions, a plus b over a 
minus b must be equal to c plus d over c minus d. Now look at this relationship and look at what we wrote here. If we call 3a and call x b and call 6 c and call 2 root 5 d, then you know that we can write this as a over b, that is 3 over x, equal to c over d, 6 over 2 root 5. And of course, with the equation in this form, all we now have to do is to cross multiply. When we do that, we have that 3 times 2 root 5 is equal to 6x. And of course, dividing both sides by 6, we have that x is equal to 3 times 2 is 6. So this is going to take care of this, leaving us with root 5 as x. So we have that x is equal to root 5. So the value of x that satisfies this equation is root 5. Now to check our answer, let us first of all simplify this left hand side before we substitute this value for x into the equation. Going back to our substitutions, this left hand side is u plus v divided by u minus v. Now what we are going to do is that we will multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this which is u plus v. So we have u plus v over u plus v. Of course, notice that this divided by this is equal to 1. And you know that when we multiply any quantity by 1, we have not changed that quantity in any way. Now here, in the numerator, we have u plus v multiplied by u plus v, which is u plus v squared. So here we have u squared plus 2 uv plus v squared. Now, in the denominator, you will notice that here we have u minus v, and here we have u plus v. Now, of course, you know that this is the difference of two squares. So when we multiply this with this, we are going to get u squared minus v squared. Now, let us evaluate these quantities. That is u squared, u times v, and v squared. Now, we know that u squared is equal to the square of the square root of 3 plus x. Of course, this is going to take care of this, leaving us with 3 plus x. v squared is equal to the square of the square root of 3 minus x. Once more, this is going to take care of that, leaving us with 3 minus x. So here we have that u squared is equal to 3 plus x and v squared is equal to 3 minus x. Now u times v is equal to the square root of 3 plus x multiplied by the square root of 3 minus x. This is equal to the square root of 3 plus x times 3 minus x. Once more, you will see the difference of two squares. So this is simply equal to the square root of 3 squared minus x squared. That is the square root of 9 minus x squared. So we have that uv is equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared. So now let us substitute x. Here we have u squared, that is 3 plus x, plus 2 times uv, that is 2 times the square root of 9 minus x squared, then plus 3 minus x, divided by u squared, of course, is 3 plus x, minus 3 minus x plus x minus x is equal to 0. 3 
plus 3 is equal to 6. Now, of course, we have that x is equal to the square root of 5. So, x squared is going to be equal to 5. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. The square root of 4 is equal to 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, we have plus 4 divided by... Now, when we open this bracket, this goes... This becomes plus because of this negative. This goes. Now, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. And we have plus x plus x, which is equal to plus 2x. So we have plus 2 root 5. So this is 2 root 5. Now, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 divided by 2 root 5. 2 into itself is 1, and into 10 is 5. This is 5 over root 5. But of course, you know that 5 is equal to root 5 times root 5 over root 5. This is going to cancel this. To leave us that when x is equal to root 5, the left-hand side of this equation is equal to root 5 which is exactly what we also have on the right-hand side of this equation. So that tells us that this value of x satisfies this equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.